I've noticed that most black men, young and old, are beta males. Okay. Have you noticed that? Beta. Mm. Beta male, okay. not af- I wouldn't. African. I wouldn't 100% dispute that. Right. And why are they beta males? Uh, again, product of their environment. Meaning what? Uh, uh, they weren't taught to be alpha. <laughs> They're not taught to be alpha. Or they don't have, or they might not have alpha men as role models. Right. You know, They're regardless born, of it being a black male that's alpha male. Because most of them are born to single women, right? Only mothers, only no fathers are around in many cases. In many cases? Yeah. Well, that's in every, every group has that. But I'm talking about the black beta males. Okay. Most of them are born to single mothers, right? I wouldn't, I would dispute that. You would? Why? Yeah, because I know a lot of people, I know a lot of couples that are together that Well, there are children. some, yeah, but most are not, right? 77% of black Excuse babies me. are born out of wedlock to black women who were born in America. So okay. that's a large number. Right. Do you think that that affects or causes them to become beta as well? No, because there are some very uh, strong black women that are able to take their child into a different direction. Right, but it's the wrong direction. But I would say this, I would say, statistically speaking, that no matter what race it is, a child would be better um, when it comes to uh, financial maturity and things like that, when they have two parents in the household. Right. So I would agree with that. I grew up with two parents in the household. Right. So I would definitely. So then you agree that most of these black guys are beta males because they're born to single mothers? No, I would not say that. And, and why not? I would say it uh, has to do with the males that are in their life, that those males, uh, due to issues of uh, maybe unemployment and maybe things of that nature, that cause them to be very, very non-productive and things like that, those might be the men that are around. But not the beta mothers who have created beta sons. I can't. I, you're generalizing that. I can't generalize or say that about black women. But you just said it about the black men. Yeah, because you're saying that you're saying that black males that are growing up to be beta males are beta males because of the, their mothers. That's what you're saying. Right. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I would dispute that. And you said that there are strong black women? Yes, there's very strong What's a strong women? black woman? A woman that is independent and doesn't necessarily need a man to financially hold her down. Really? Yeah. And it's those type of women who are screwing up the boys? Uh, I wouldn't say that. How so? Are black women stronger than black men? <laughs> <laughs> um... Are you saying in general or in a certain context? Are black women stronger than black men? I would say that we are equal. We are equal. So black men are as equally strong as a black woman? Yeah. So they're like women then? No, 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 no. There is strength, which we're talking about, and then now you're saying you're bringing femininity into the equation. I'm not saying that men are feminine. Uh, and that's why they relate to black women. They don't but, relate but you are way. saying that black women are strong and black men are strong. Yes. And they are equal. Yeah. In terms of strength, yes. So the black man has the same strength that a black woman has. Yes. They have the same ability and capability to do things. Beta. In terms of uh, raising children. Beta. No, I wouldn't say that. Why would a man be like a woman in strength? That doesn't make sense. If you're not a beta. It, okay, physical strength, of course So not. you have the same strength as a black woman has? I have the same capability and the capacity to do certain things as a black woman. Anything that I could do in a, in a financial uh, situation, anything when it comes to academics, black women can do what I... And so you're the same as strength as a woman? Yes. Really? Yeah, I would, yeah, I would say yes. What, you, so you, you would say that black women are... Not as strong as black men? They're not, it's, not or that black, it's, it's not that black women are strong, it's just that the men are weak. Ah. No such thing as a strong black woman, it's just weak men. <laughs> <laughs> would so, you agree to that? No, I absolutely would not agree with that. There are, it, there are black women that are very strong. I was like, 
So the characteristics that are in a weak male couldn't be in a black woman? It is in a black woman. That's where it came from. Okay, but that's what I'm saying. Men who are weak are just like their mothers. But why are their mothers weak? Because they were made that way. Women are made that way? They're to be weaker than a man. In, in what, in general, are we talking, are we? Do you think men and women are this equal, are the same? Is there a difference between men and women? There is a huge difference between men and women. And what's the difference? Uh, currently today, I mean, there are, there's a huge sexism going on. There's this whole Me Too movement going on. Biologically, they can't do the same things. I mean, <laughs> of course, there are big differences, but in terms so of- So the difference between men is uh, uh, the women protesting? What's the difference between men and women, or a man and a woman? I would say the, the difference is treatment, how they get treated by the dominant society. So women dominate men? Um, no, men, men are uh, superior at this moment right now. Over women? Yeah. And superior in what way? Uh, when it comes to power, when it comes to economic power, it comes to... Uh, governmental power, things like that. And why do you believe something like that? I don't believe it, it's a fact. But what, where's the proof of it? What the, type of fact? Give me a fact. The proof is the, the people that make all of these decisions and things are most likely, well not even, I'm not even gonna say most likely because that means that it's an assumption. <clears throat> I would say the people that are making these decisions for our country or making these local decisions, whatever, are men. And you made an example. Oh, I'm sorry, an example of, of, of men how... who are, give me, give me uh, a decision that most men are making. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Um, definitely. Or have when made. It, when it comes to incarceration rates and things like that, definitely, I would say. Uh, older and middle-aged white men are, are making the, the most decisions for our country right now. To incarcerate... Uh, men? Well, I'm just saying that's one example. Right. That's one example. So if women were making those decisions, would those men be still going to jail or not? I don't, I don't see why they wouldn't. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, yeah of course. Uh, but uh, give me a good one. That's not a good one. That's not a good one? What's the difference between men and women? Other than body parts. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, like I said, there's all, there's all, it, it's been a huge wage gap ever since there's been employment in this country. There's not a wage gap between men and women. There's not? No. So, when, so men, Matter they get fact, paid the same? Because of this whole affirmative action and victimhood mentality, women are making more money than men, and they shouldn't because the men have been there longer. Oh, okay. And women take off more. So when they do the same job, they shouldn't? Not if they so have much. not done the same time. Time. So in. let's say that you work at a job for 30 years. Right making $100 an hour, right? Okay. And some woman comes in, brand new to the job, should she automatically get $100 an hour? Is she qualified? <laughs> that's, what, that's what it would come down to. So you, she should get $100 an hour starting out on the job. Now, the, of the course money she should that get, you have been there 30 years to get, work your way up. Did I, st you, did I start off with $100 an, an hour? No, you're making that now due to time put in. Okay. And you know, you're good okay. at what you do, you put in the time, <laughs> and now you earn this money. Right. Some woman comes in brand new, could, should she start out with $100 an hour? If there's a standard rate, then absolutely not. Nobody should be able to do that. So then it's not unfair there that they start at the bottom, right? Women uh, should, should women start at the bottom? Anybody coming into a uh, work environment should start at the bottom. How about women? No, I don't think women or men should necessarily start at the, at the bottom based off of their gender. They should start based off of experience. How about women? Women starting at the bottom? If they're coming into this workforce brand new, they should start at the base rate. Is that the bottom? You could, yeah, you could say it's the bottom. Do you say that it's the bottom? Uh, I wouldn't say, because I feel like bottom has a negative connotation to it. <laughs> uh, so I would say... Bottom is a good place to start. Is it? It's the best place to start. <laughs> okay. You don't agree with that? I mean, I'm just saying, when you say bottom, if somebody says, I, like, you know, you hear these rappers say, I started from the bottom, right? 
Is that necessarily a good place? Because we all yes. know what he's talking about. He's talking about the hood. I started from the bottom. No, I mean, he started at the bottom. It what is the bottom? His, you don't know what the bottom is? I know what the bottom is. What's your degree is? in? Uh, theater, theater arts. I'm not, I don't have it yet. Of course, oh. I'm still in college. Uh -huh. Yeah. So you don't know what it means to start at the bottom? I know what it is. It sounds and like you are interpreting it different than is, what I Is that a bad thing, to start at the bottom? No and yes. <laughs> yeah, I would say yes and no. Because if you're starting at the bottom based off of your gender, no, that, that's not So fair. if you're a woman, start at the bottom. You're a female, start at the bottom. That's a bad thing? Because you're a woman? Yes. No, and you are a woman, not because you're a woman. A woman comes in, okay. she has to start at the bottom. Is right. that a bad thing? No. If, like I said, just if a man can do that too, if a man starts at a company and he starts at the bottom, then that's... Should a man start at the bottom? But what, what, I don't understand that. Let's say that a man comes in right. and a woman comes in. Okay. Uh, the woman starts at the bottom, but the man starts right above her. Why? Because he may be smarter or harder or, or whatever. Would that be unfair? Yes. Why? Because if they, let's say they, they both went to school for something and they, now they're, it's time to get the job and they both go out to get the job. They both have master's degrees in education or whatever. So they go to a college and they apply for a college and they apply for the same job. All right. And then the man gets paid more. I, don't, I just don't see the But the doesn't logic. the company have a right to decide that for itself? Well, no, that I, means that they're discriminating maybe they found against a gender reason, and race. Maybe they found a reason to pay this man a little bit more and pay this woman at the bottom for a reason, something that they found out or discovered about them during the interview. Would that be wrong? Yes. That would be wrong. Because that's discrimination. You wouldn't think that that's discrimination if you, try, if you were trying to work somewhere and you have the degree, you have the qualifications, right? Uh -huh. And then they say, well, we're going to pay her more because... What? You guys say have the same qualifications. You guys both have a master's or whatever the degree is. And so it's wrong to discriminate? Yes. It's wrong to discriminate? Yes. You don't discriminate? No, I don't discriminate. You never discriminate? Why would I discriminate? You don't ever discriminate. Now, see, look, you tried to get Tariq Nasheed on this one. I remember. I watched that one. <laughs> I watched that one. And you, and you tried to get him on that discrimination thing. <laughs> right. Um, discrimination is... I would say my definition of this, well, not even my definition, what discrimination is, I wouldn't necessarily do that. You don't ever discriminate? I, tr I try my absolute hardest not to. Do you discriminate? No. Okay. Since you do you date white girls? Absolute, no. You don't I date don't, white girls? I don't date white, I don't date white women. Um, not because... Is that discrimination? Can I explain? <laughs> can I explain? Um, no, it's not discrimination why because not? she's white. It's not because she's white. Why That's is why it? I don't date her. I don't uh, date outside of my race at all. Because in order, what I want for African Americans in this country and in all countries is for there to be um, equal rights and a system for us to, a uh, system of empowerment and advancement, right? In order to build a system that is catered to the historically disenfranchised, which would be us, not me. You're not black? I'm not disenfranchised. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> um, but you, can you agree that African Americans have been and are disenfranchised? I would disagree to that too. Okay. Well, let me, let me finish my point. <laughs> um, <laughs> when it comes to, yeah, when it comes to creating a system of improvement for African Americans, I do not see how... Um, uh, a brother could get with somebody outside of their race and then create that system of, of improvement. So be, because you want to make this system better for the blacks, you only date black women, right? Yes. So that's discrimination. I wouldn't say it's not discrimination because it it's is. not based off of race. It's not based because, it's a oh, white, white woman. You're not trying to make this white woman life better? No. Well, they seem to be... Uh, I'm pretty up there. So you're discriminating. I'm not discriminating because would you marry? Would race. you date a poor white woman that needs you to make her life better? Would you marry? Would you date her? I wouldn't date anybody that needs me to make them to get them out of no. their financial. No. Would you date a, a poor white woman? Oh, a white woman that just <coughs> for whatever reason. She could be rich or poor. I, I wouldn't do it. Really? How about Hispanic? No. You wouldn't date. Okay. No one do Hispanic either. Is it racist to uh, marry or date, date or marry outside your races? 
You're racist. It's not racist. It's not racist. I don't. I personally don't do that, but I'm not mad at any other brother that gets with a white woman as long as you get with her and you don't down black women. Like, oh, I get with white women because black women are blah blah blah. That's my issue. Do I don't. Do you like agree women. that many, uh, most black women are blah blah blah? I totally would dispute you on that. Are you? Yeah. Uh, what is the state of black men? I gotta move a what, little bit. What, what is blah blah blah? I don't know. You said it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, go ahead. What did you mean by blah, blah, blah? Well, uh, I totally forgot what I even said it in the context in, but you I said, didn't mean it in that <laughs> your context. But I, I only repeated what you said. I okay, well, you said, can you admit, okay, that's what you were saying. You were saying, can you admit that black women are blah, blah, blah? Right. Uh, no, I was saying, I was saying, uh, blah, blah, blah is, is BS. That's blah, blah, blah is a bad thing. Oh, I, I guess you could say. So okay. I, would, I would dispute that.